welcome back friends this is dr mnal lectures don't forget to click the subscribe button and to click the bell then put call for more updates to join our telegram group for discussions just click show more in the description then if you scroll down you see the links for the o level and the a level group welcome back friends uh, this is advanced biology session 45 and in this session we are going to discuss about the maintenance of balance body balance in mammals uh, this is one among the confusing part of coordination and is one among the parts which is more is not understood by most of students but to me i don't believe that it is confusing but i think it is because of how teacher they are teaching this uh, session and i hope if you will be careful if you you were with me in the previous sessions it will be very easier for you to even understand uh what you'll be teaching and understanding the mechanism of your body balance now on maintaining balance at rest and during movement of the body relies upon the brain receiving a continual input of sensory information concerning the position of various parts of the body information from proprioceptor in the joints and the muscle indicates the position and the state of the limbs the position and the state of the limbs but vital information relating to the position and the movement of the head is provided by the vestibular apparatus of the ear that consists of the article the sacule and the semicircular canals ko kama tv smokule manzoni the vestibular apparatus it is involved in the balance of the body na tukasema vitu mbalimbali lakini hapa tunataka kusoma in detail na unataka tuwe very slow if you not understand anything uh, my contacts there in description below or just comment uh, below this video then i will refer to your comment now we are going very slow not to be understood uh, with each and every one of you of my followers now the basic sensory receptor within this structure consists of cell which have hair like extension the hair cells attached to the dense structure supported in endolymph ko lazima ujue hichi kitu kwanza kwamba kwenye hizi structure is a structure is kwenye article sacule pamoja na semicircular cano kuna koko na hair cell mfano wa zile zile zilizo kwenye organ of coat na pia zilizo kwenye 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 yeah ni kwenye organ of coat kwa sababu kwenye jicho uh, there is no hair cells so ni mfano wa cells zilizo kwenye organ of coat kwa hizi cell pia ziko ndani ya endolymph kama tulivyoona kule mwanzoni lakini the difference here is that uh, sensory hair cell kama tulivyoona kule mwanzoni kwamba haziko moja kwa moja attached kwenye endolymph lakini sensory hair cell zinakuwa affected with the movement of the endolymph kule mwanzoni tuliona kwamba the movement of endolymph and perilymph inasababisha nini a uh, relative movement of basilar and tectorial membrane and then at the end of the day the relative movement of basilar and tectorial membrane in a perkin generation of the nerve impulse by the uh, sensory hair cells now here again we have the sensory hair cell now movement of the head result in deflection of hairs and the production of the generator potential in hair cell ko unavyo move head yako unasababisha ile endolymph itikisike ni kama vile ambavyo unakuwa na boto then unakuwa na water inside if you move the bottle outside if you shake the bottle automatically your aim haikuwa kwamba na water mle ndani isheke ulikuwa umesheki bottle lakini by shaking the bottle also the water inside it shakes and normally the direction of movement of water inside the bottle is relative to the direction of movement of the bottle if the if you shake the bottle to the left hand side then water inside will move to the right hand side and if you shake the bottle to the right hand side then water inside will, sh- will move to the left hand side kama waamini basi kafanye experiment hiyo 
kafanya experiment hiyo basi ndio ni kwa kufu uone jinsi gani ambavyo inakuwa copy hapo kwenye endolymph ndio ilivyo kwamba tunavyo move the head kwenda labda left endolymph ita displace kwenda right tunavyo move the head kwenda right endolymph ita displace kwenda left lakini uzuri tu ni kwamba hata kama endolymph inaenda opposite direction zile sensory hair cells zina uwezo kujua kwamba hapo huyu mtu ame move kwenda head right au kwenda left now movement of the head result in the diffraction of the hairs and the production of generator potential in the hair cell regions of the wall of the article and circle they they are called regions of the wall of the article and circle they are called maculae ko hapa kwanza atuzungumzie sana kuhusu hair cell hair cell tutaenda kuzizungumzia kwenye ampla mbele kidogo hapa tuanze kwa, kuangalia kwanza kuhusu hii i uh, atriko pamoja na nani na sakule uo zao zina region wanaoitwa nani maculae so they contain receptor cell which have they are hair like processes embedded in gelatinous mass contains glands of calcium carbonate this mass is called otoconium ko zina hair cell lakini hair cell zake zimekuwa embedded kwenye nani kwenye otoconium kwa otokonia mieye ana, anasaidia kusense gravity. Sasa otokonia mwanafanyeje? Kumbuka otokonia ni glani ya calcium carbonate. Kwa we have the hair cell but the hair cell they are embedded in the gelatinous mass of the calcium carbonate and this mass is called otokonia. Now otokonia respond by the pull of gravity acting at right angle to the earth's surface. Tunajua kwamba the pull of gravity iko perpendicular to the earth's surface and otokonia minyena ina respond to the pull of gravity kwa ukiwa upright otokonia inajua kwamba uko upright ukinamisha kichwa labda kwenda left otokonia inajua ukinamisha kwenda front otokonia inajua ukiwa upside down otokonia inajua kivipi let's go to see kwa the article respond to the vertical movement you see article na dina nani na vertical movement of the head and the otoconia produces maximum stimulation when pulling the receptor hair downward kwa hiyo atona diagram hapa chini taona uh, diagram hapa chini jinsi gani ambavyo huwa inakuwa this is the diagram na kama unavyoona this is the article now you see this is the otoconium hii hapa ndio nini ndio otoconium and this these are uh, kama unavyoona kwenye labeling kuna sensory sensory cell hapo kuna sensory hair processes kwa hivi vitatu hapa ni sensory hair processes wakati ni sensory cell so utokonya mkiwa upright inakuwa iko iko juu vile na you see ukigeuza kichwa ikawa upside down utokonya mitakuwa wapi iko chini sasa so, sio juu tena and remember the utokonya respond to gravity kwa utokonya mkiwa chini kwenye article maana hii sensory hair zitakuwa ziko pull sana zita experience maximum pull ile maximum pull kule kule sensory information takayotengenezwa hapa itasema kwamba the position of the head is upside down kwa sababu article ina sense nini nimekwambia ina sense the vertical movement of the head not the lateral kwa kilichopo ni kwamba the article respond to the vertical movement of the head and otokonia produces maximum stimulation when pulling the receptor hair downward such as when the body is upside down kwa article inatengeneza response kubwa kama body kio upside down kwa maana yake ina ina respond vertical movement of the head either umeinama kwenda nyuma au umeinama kwenda mbele hii article tunafanyaje ina sense na inabadilisha direction yake depending on the position of the I mean the composition of the head but the circle respond to the lateral or sideway movement of the head ya navu move kwenda kichwa kwenda kushoto au kwenda kulia sideway movement of the head the hair cell of the circle are horizontal when the head is upright kwa hiyo hair cell za circle zenye ni horizontal kama head ikiwa upright lakini kama uki deflect kwenda kulia au kwenda kushoto the hair cell also the they they change their position so so titling of the head to the left
produces a differential response from left to right. Kwa unavo breaka hedi left, uh, ile sakule uh, ya kushoto na ya kulia zina sense tofauti. Manake sakule ya sikio wa kushoto na sakule ya sikio wa kulia zina sense different. The left receives increased stimulation. Unavo deflect your head to the left. Left, di, di, uh, uh, I mean, the left receives increased stimulation as your toconia pulls downward. Manake unavo peleka kwenda kushoto ile ya left ita, ita sensi it assess the increased the stimulation while that of the right because the autoconia pulls it downward on the hairs whereas the decreased the stimulation occurs on the right kwa hiyo right side kule kulia itatokea nini decreased kwa left it increase stimulation kwa sababu gani autoconia itakomeelekea chini lakini right it decrease stimulation kwa sababu gani autoconia itaelekea juu and autoconia is in your horizontal position uh, kichwa kinavu kwa kiko upright this displacement produces impulse passing to the cerebellum where the orientation of the head is, is perceived kwa hiyo hivyo ndivyo jinsi ambavyo autoconia inafanya kazi na hii glafu hii glafu kama ambavyo unaweza kaona kwamba ukiwa hapa uko upright hii ni kwanza ni article ukiwa uko upright autoconia inakuwa iko juu kwa hiyo hapa inakuwa no sensation at all lakini as the position of the head changes position ya head inavyo change kutoka kwenye upright kwenda kwenye upside down pia sensation inazidi kuongezeka kwa hiyo kwamba mtu akiinama tu asipofika kabisa upside down sensation inaweza kawa somewhere there lakini akifika point ambayo ni upside down sensation of the of the article inakuwa maximum and in the in the circle things are different unaona hapo ukiwa upright the left circle ina, inakuwa horizontal like this lakini uki deflect your head to the left then this inakuwa downward and remember to say kwamba hii autoconium i mean autoconium au autolith hii mass ya kasham tusema hii ina sense sana kwa nini kwenye gravity kwa hiyo unavyo deflect kwenda downward maana itakuwa pulled more with gravity and hence it itatengeneza more stimulation wakati huo maana kwenye right Otokonia ya right hapo ita, itatengeneza itatengeneza different kwa sababu hii otokonia itakuwa iko juu kwa right kwenye sikio la huku kulia otokonia itakuwa iko iko juu sio na kama hapa maana hii limechukuliwa kama ili ni kama sikio la kushoto ili ni kama sikio la kushoto ili ni sikio la kulia kwa hiyo maana yake otokonia inakuwa iko upande wa nje kwa hiyo tukichukulia na huku right otokonia iko upande wa nje utakavyoinama Otokonia ya right huko itakuwa iko juu kwa ita decrease stimulation that is how uh, we balance the movement of head with respect to to gravity now let's go to see how the semicircular canon they involved in the uh, sensation and balance of the body now the, the three semicircular canon are arranged in the three planes at a right angle to each other and detect the direction and the rate of change of position of the head So semicircular canon pia they detect direction pamoja na rate of change of direction of the head. Zile autolithi zinaweza ku uh, sense sui lateral uh, and vertical movement of the head. Lakini autolithi haziwezi kujua kwamba hii head may move is faster or slow. Wakati huo the semicircular canon and the ampla zinaweza ku sense hicho kitu. Kwa hiyo at the base of each canon is the swelling called ampla kama tulivyokuwa tu discuss membrane of labyrinth nilikwambia kwamba on the structure of the membrane of labyrinth uh tunakuwa tuna ampla which is the solid part of the at the base of the semicircular canal na hii ampla inakuwa ime contain a conical a conical gelatinous structure called the copula au cupula now kama unavyoweza kuona hapa maana yake hii hii diagram imechukuliwa within the semi, uh, i mean within the semicircular canal within the ampla So you see this is the ampla and then we have the cupula inside a con shaped object cupula so here we have the endolymph endolymph within the ampla and here we have the sensory hair cells similar to those present in the organ of coat now this encloses hair like projections of the receptor cells so we have the sensory hair cells similar to those in the organ of coat now the cupula extends fully across the ampla kama unaona cupula mextend mpaka kule 
this encloses our uh, okay and this is it. rotation movement of the head uh semicircular canals and cupula is restricted to the inertia of the endolymph rotational movement of the head semicircular canal and cupula is restricted by the inertia of the endolymph kama tunavyojua concept of inertia inertia ni resistance ya movement kwa hiyo sasa wakati head ina move semicircular canal ina move na ampla ina move endolymph huwa ina resist movement kwa kama endolymph ita resist movement maana kama head semicircular canal pamoja na ampla zita move kwenda left, left. endolymph itakavyo resist yenyewe ita move kwenda right na ndio maana kutolea mfano wa boto pamoja na water inside kwamba boto now connect a uh, combination of the head semicircular canal and ampla is like a boto while endolymph is like water inside so when you sh- you shake the boto to the left hand side then the water inside will will, will shake to the right hand side so kwa sababu endolymph ina provide inertia endolymph yenyewe itabakia stationary kwa kama head inaenda right endolymph kibakia stationary maana yake endolymph ita move kwenda left now this produces a relative displacement of cupula which is bent in the opposite direction to the head movement the receptor cell responds by producing generator potential leading to action potential in the vestibular neurons ko kama head ikienda hivi right head ikienda right then e endolymph ka resist motion cupula hii hapo ita move kwenda hapo left hii ni diagram from biological science book also you may visit the understanding biology book utaikuta diagram ambayo iko more clear explaining more clear than this diagram so movement of the head to the right will lead to the movement of the cupula to the left and the movement of the cupula to the left will lead to the distortion of the sensory hair cell and this will be detected and will lead to the generation of the generator potential leading to the action potential in the vestibular neuron the direction and rate of displacement are both detected by the receptor cell linear acceleration are detected by both the macula and the cupula ko even ndivyo ambavyo unaweza ka uka detect the linear acceleration of the head linear acceleration of the head ko indo structure uh, structure ampla na kama hapo inavyoonekana hii ni vestibular neuron to the vestibular cochlear nerve uh, upon the sensory hair cells kama ambavyo unaona hapo kuna uh, cupula kuna endolymph pamoja na ampla kama iki move kwenda hivi ita move kwenda hivi i have used the uh, most of my time explaining about the mechanism of balance hii tuweze kuelewana na tusiachane now this marks the end of um, electrical transmission of nerve impulse or about the nervous transmission and in the next session we we'll start discussing about the endocrinology or hormonal coordination in mammals and later we will move into the coordination in plant thank you everybody don't forget to subscribe the channel and to like and share this video thank you